Christmas, all the Falcons off-season workouts, and yesterday he deleted Falcons photos from his Instagram page. The team said Julio wanted a, quote, fresh start on social media and nothing more. There has been speculation that Julio has an issue with his contract. He currently has three years left on his $71 million deal, and his average salar salary is behind seven other wide receivers. We're joined once again by D'Angelo Hall. What's going on here with Julio? Uh, <clears throat> I hope Julio doesn't feel like I felt when I was in Atlanta and I had to get up out of there. Mm. Um, you know, I felt as though it was time for me to be paid a little bit more. They felt as though it wasn't. We agreed to disagree. Hence, I got traded to uh, Oakland. Julio is the centerpiece and focal point of this offense. He's the reason they're able to do some of the things they're able to do. The matchups they're able to get, the reason they're able to run the ball because people are worried about him. Uh, you got to keep your stars happy. I definitely see it something having to be, you know, something having to uh, do with his contract. He wants more money. He should be paid more money. But NFL teams don't just take care of guys and re them up and, you know, give them new money when when it's not time to. Right. And so I know the way that they run things over there with Rich McKay and uh, Thomas Dimitrov. I don't see him getting any new money. They're still trying to figure out how to pay Matt Ryan and yeah, get what he's due. Yep. Because uh, he's in the last year of his contract. Yeah. Who and we know what happens. Suck it up. What happens to quarterbacks to get in the last year of their contract? They get old Kirk Cousins' money. Mm -hmm. Kirk Cousins ain't won no playoff game. Mm -hmm. Ain't been no uh, league MVP. Yeah. So you got to pay 15 20% on top. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go ahead and pay $150 million, let Matt Ryan get to the end of this deal and see what you're going to have to pay him. That $84 million, you're going to have to add about probably about 20 more million on top of that. So yep. you got to give him 100, 100 plus million. Mm. Fully guaranteed in the first three years. And as you mentioned, they got Grady Jarrett, they got to take care of. They got to take Jake Matthews. You don't, I mean, ain't no sense in having all this money if you ain't got no guards to protect it. Jake Matthews is what protect the, the, yeah. the, the money, yeah. which is Matt Ryan. I get it. I, hopefully this is nothing because this is voluntary. They say it's voluntary. Yeah. And he did delete it. And, you know, uh, Skip, we showed it earlier where he was in the... Uh, Stole LeBron's uh, barbershop footage. Oh, but anyway, stole it. <laughs> but anyway, I was saying, Skip, mm. and he was talking about that social media guys shouldn't let social media define them. Mm -hmm. He's like, I can erase mine and, because it doesn't define me. It's not who I am. So maybe that's it. But come June, if he's a mandatory, he ain't showing up. He's going to want some more money because he's looking at it and he said, man, how can Discount Odell get more than me? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's all. Jarvis Landry. I mean, Jarvis Landry make more than I do. But this is how it works, Skip. When he got his money, he was the second highest paid behind Calvin Johnson. Yep. That's how it works. He Kirk Cousins is the highest paid. The next quarterback will be the highest paid. Yep. Aaron Rodgers is going to come behind Matt Ryan. He's going to be higher paid than Matt Ryan. That's how it works, Julio. You don't get to be every time somebody else become higher paid. Yeah, yeah. You get to jump back in front of the line yeah, of the bill. That's not how it like works. That. You don't get a super pass like you at Disney. You know, you get that super pass. You get to move to the front of the line. That's how it works in, in, in the NFL. Mm. They don't move you to the front of the line every time somebody jump you in the front of the line. Mm. He ain't even used to the super pass. He's probably used to the private tour. Exactly. You know, that go. Yeah, they close the shit. By the way, this ESPN.com story mentions that Julio's been working out with Terrell Owens. Hmm. Maybe he's been listening to Terrell. Maybe Terrell's been uh, saying, you, 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 you deserve a I, lot more money. I told him. That's what he huh. reminds you of. Wow. He, big body, can run after I the catch. Know. Physical. But Terrell made a lot of waves, and Julio makes no, no waves. waves right? Yeah. Nope. No, no, no. I mean, he's got no diva in him that I know of. No. So is it about the money? Maybe. Probably. Not sure. But could it just be about social media? Because I'm going to read the line from what's called Bama Cuts. It's the University of Alabama production out in the barbershop. And Julio, about a month ago, and the one that he taped for them, was lecturing the current Alabama players about the evils and dangers of social media. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you delete social media right now, who are you? What do you stand for? Social media ain't going to make me. It's good to interact on social media, but it don't make me as a man. Let it delete tomorrow, said Julio Jones about a month ago. So is it possible he just sort of put his money, so to speak, where his mouth is in this case, and he just showed those Alabama kids I, I don't need it. I'm going to delete all of it. I'm going to start fresh. Skip, if he would have deleted it, meaning the accounts, mm -hmm. cool. I can buy that. But for him to just go in there and delete pictures of him in Falcons uniforms and jerseys, mm -hmm. you know, to me, that, that signals something. That's yeah. a statement without a mm -hmm. doubt, a statement without saying, saying anything. And that's what social media does now. You're able to 
uh, not like a person's picture, mm -hmm. and a person can say, look, man, I know he saw that picture. He ain't like it for a reason. Yeah. You know, it gives... Or they got the emoji. Addition. You don't yeah. have to say yeah. anything. They got the emoji. Make a face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you're not saying something, but you're saying something. Mm -hmm. And he's definitely saying something. We just don't know exactly what that is yet. And then, you know, as time goes, we'll definitely find out. But, mm -hmm. I mean, Julio Jones, you, you compared him to uh, Terrell Owens. You know, to me, he's more of a Calvin Johnson because he's a fast, he's he, a fast receiver. Yeah, and just his size, like yeah. he's a lot bigger than you think. Yeah. Oh yeah. He, you he, know, yeah. like he's 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 closer size wise to Calvin than he is mm -hmm. To. And To wasn't a small guy, and so you know, anytime I step on the field with that dude, I mean, you know, it's gonna be a war because, mm -hmm. like you said, he doesn't say much. Them guys outweigh me. I played tight end, Skip. Those guys outweigh me playing wide receiver oh, yes. and outrunning me. Calvin Johnson was way bigger than I am. Brandon, Mar you know, Brandon Marshall's a big man. Yes. Yeah. Brandon Marshall's two <laughs> six four to have six five two forty. Julio six three two twenty five. Mm. Larry Fitzgerald has lost some weight, but he's still in the two twenties range. Yeah. yeah, no, I know. So you know what conclusion I leaped to when I saw that he had deleted all of his social media? What? That he's been traded to the Dallas Cowboys. He will be the oh, new no, Des no, Bryant. No, That's no, what I, I figured. No, no, oh, wow. oh, oh, why not? not? You think Roger Goodell's going to let that happen? You think Roger Goodell's going to let that trade go through? What? Let it? Yeah. Oh, he's going to veto a trade he with Jerry it. Jones? Put a, put a, 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 a David Stern. Stern. They could take our 19th overall pick and maybe our I bet they. Pick. I bet they could. Mm -hmm. You could have it. They're going to need a little more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A a lot they traded a lot more to go up and get him. In the first exactly. Day, right? They two first rounders Oof. to move up to get him. Oof. And they only moved up a couple spots. Yeah. So where are they coming from? No. And what number is he going to wear? 88? Why not? Start it again. Kobe. Oh, yeah. Kobe. Boy, Kobe's got a little number. I, never. <laughs> I don't need a problem. He's going to get that up. Cole, oh, you no, want Cole stop, Beasley? Man. That's your guy. Julio could pay for it. He could pay pay what? Man, Julio's not going to Dallas every huh? Why not? I <laughs> like that. That's a good run to it. No, it doesn't. You don't think Julio is? Everybody's got a little cowboy in them. You know, they no. all want to be. He's from Alabama. Huh? Country. Southern oh, boy. No. They all love Dallas. Back to Julio. <laughs> Angela, thanks for joining us. Will anyone sign Des Bryant? Speaking of the Cowboys, we'll discuss mm. that next.